Hello and welcome to Business Today Television. I am Siddharth Zarabi and joining me is Supreme Court Advocate Mahesh Agarwal on a major legal development that has taken place in the Adani Hindenburg saga. The report of uh, an independent committee that had been tasked to look into various allegations has come out. And I, uh, Mahesh, I am coming to you straight off uh, to tell our viewers about the key takeaways uh, from this panel and what are the key findings? So this is a committee which had been formed by the Honorable Supreme Court to look into as to whether there is any regulatory failure by SEBI, a very high power committee uh, chaired by a former Supreme Court judge. They have given a detailed 173 page report on various issues. One of the critical things they have noted is that there is evidence which has been found that prior to the Hindenburg report, positions were taken in the market by a certain group of people. Immediately after the report was published, they were squared off, which clearly shows that they were intent to profit from the report. Certain people who either bought shares or sold shares did short selling and immediately after the report, this profit taking was done and direct cost of loss of uh, crores of rupees was caused to Indian, consumer, Indian investors. Mahesh, I'll so there come was a design. There was a design behind this whole saga. I, I'll I'll come back to this point about the design uh, uh, that you say uh, as per the uh, report and positions taken before that. Hindenburg obviously a short seller, and one would assume that uh, it would have taken such positions. But before I come to that, I want you to also tell us about what the uh, uh, committee findings are on. Some of the key allegations, for example, stock price manipulation, round tripping from overseas domains, uh, violations, alleged violations of minimum public shareholding. There's a whole lot, a long list of so, allegations from Hindenburg. So, committee has gone into all those issues. The prima facie findings of the committee is that there was no wrongdoing, there was no manipulation, there was no artificial trading. I just read out one critical sentence from the report which says, the stock exchanges have considered all the factors and prima facie found no evidence of any artificiality to the price rise and did not find material to attribute the rise to any single entity or group of connected entities. So what the committee has found is that there was no manipulation, there was no artificial price rigging, the increase in the stock over the last period was quite natural, it has happened in many stocks. Comparisons have been made with other companies, comparison has been made with other exchanges. So nothing untoward or incorrect has been found. Secondly, it is also found that SEBI regulatory mechanism was in place. SEBI has been examining these transactions, these stocks and many other stocks for a long time. SEBI did not find anything unnatural. And even uh, on further investigation by this committee, there has been no instance of any wrongdoing. Okay, uh, there is so no. Therefore, these issues of minimum public shareholding or disclosure of transactions, there has been no regulatory fail. What about uh, the point that several overseas jurisdictions uh, uh, could not share information with SEBI or SEBI was not able to get those details from overseas jurisdictions? And does that also figure in this committee's report? No, this committee had a, a particular role. And that role has been paid by giving this report. In so far as SEBI is concerned, SEBI has moved the Honorable Supreme Court, asked for a certain time, and that process is going on. So further investigation is going on, and all those facts and figures will come when the uh, Supreme Court reopens after vacation. Okay. With the final for, SEBI report. For the understanding so, so far of this, so far yes, as go, this report, go ahead, please. So far as this report is concerned, with whatever evidence is available, whatever data is available. A lot of data has been collected from the stock exchanges, from SEBI and from others. These are the critical findings that there is no violation of minimum public shareholding norms. There is no violation by any of the group companies or any other related companies playing in the market or giving a boost to the market prices. What about allegations, for example, uh, and there were a host of allegations. I take one of them that the audit standards allegedly were weak and that uh, the best of breed auditors were not available to audit the group and its entities. So there is no such finding on this report with regard to audit. 
or any regular in fact it has been found that sebi has been active sebi has been looking into it and the uh, regulatory mechanisms adopted by sebi were robust there was nothing wrong at all and okay. there was sufficient compliance of all requirements of disclosures which were required to be made and were made uh mahesh i'm uh, uh, i'm also for the benefit of our viewers uh, uh, repeating what uh, has been culled out of the report that the regulatory framework has been changed multiple times which allowed companies to escape uh, breaking the letter of the law due to time given for extra compliance and it also says that uh, 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 you know it cannot be clearly said whether there was a regulatory failure at this stage what does this mean has sebi got a clean chit or has this committee raised questions about the role of the stock market regulator so as the business progresses sebi looks at events which are happening in the market and in the natural course of things comes out with modified regulations question was if a regulation comes on a particular date has it to be applied retrospectively or not it has been found that as in when the regulations have come they have been fully implemented a question could be raised that these regulations could have come earlier but that is a subjective matter as far as current position is concerned the regulations which were in force at the relevant time have been followed there is no finding that any of the regulations have not been followed for example if a particular regulation is modified then after modification it has been followed there was no question of following a regulation which is not non existent does so the being a robust robust agency has come out with uh, 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 modified or amended regulations which have been followed when they have been introduced okay uh, uh, mahesh uh, uh, has this report concluded and i am referring to various reports uh, and i want to get this clear for the benefit of our viewers for from someone who understands the law and uh, this case as well that parties have affirmed on oath that the foreign portfolio investors have not been funded by the adani group is this a actual finding uh, this uh, this this is a very clear and actual finding mm -hmm. that affidavits have been filed and confirmations have been done that mm -hmm. there have been no funding by group entities and that is a finding another important finding so far as if you're talking about the group is concerned is that yes. after this impact of hindenburg in the market there was a huge amount of volatility and the adani group has made uh, huge investments have got investments done to stabilize the market something like 2 billion dollars have been invested to boost uh, investor uh, sentiment and as you have seen in last 3 months the market has completely stabilized so i think this report uh, gives a big boost to indian investors forget adani group or any company any investor investing in the market has to have confidence that the regulatory mechanism is in place sebi which is an agency is looking into whatever is required the regulations are modified as and when required and implemented so there is a big boost to investor confidence that we are in a mechanism which is fully regulated right. properly checked uh, mahesh the committee has also said that sebi has flagged suspicious transactions investigation is ongoing 849 odd alerts have been generated in the trading system for the group stocks over the last few years four reports sent to sebi by stock uh, exchanges and it also seems to suggest sebi has not proved that its suspicion can be translated into a firm case please explain to th this uh this to our viewers especially this bit about suspicious transactions and ongoing investigations so therefore allegations have been made in the hindenburg report allegations have been made in the petitions filed that there were certain suspicious transactions sebi is looking into it and final report is awaited sebi in fact has not filed any report investigation is going on final report is awaited but as things stand from whatever material has been given to the committee whatever sebi uh, report has been given there has been no wrongdoing at all there is mahesh, nothing uh, uh, mahesh what happens in a situation where a supreme court appointed committee and practically a supreme court monitored uh, case i mean a probe uh, a really of sorts that is happening where a former uh, a justice himself uh, has uh, spent time on this how does that impact the sebi's eventual findings because if a bulk of the allegations have been dealt and um, 
and, and the conclusions that you describe have been arrived at, what is left for SEBI to do and, and does the SEBI report therefore become infructuous? No, no, that is, we can't say that at all. SEBI investigation is very, very important and critical because that is the regulatory watchdog. The SEBI is the agency which has to look into all transactions. The job of the committee essentially was to see if the SEBI has done its job or not. Is there any regulatory failure? Is there any requirement of any regulatory changes? So the focus of this committee was more on SEBI doing what it, the, the, the regulatory mechanism. In so far as SEBI is concerned, SEBI is looking into each and every individual transaction, what you call as suspicious transactions, collecting all facts, getting data from around the world, and they will submit its final report. So we cannot say that SEBI report is inconsequential and this report is final. In fact, the findings of this report are prima facie. But what is important is it is a report given by a, a, a powerful committee after examining uh, extensive record. And after all that, nothing wrong has been found so far. If something comes up with SEBI, that will have to be seen as and when it comes. What are the changes? Uh, or, or rather uh, suggestions, recommendations, advice that this committee has proposed for and to SEBI including uh, uh, points like uh, uh, the need to improve investor awareness, Mahesh Agarwal, uh, improve regulations and enforcement, uh, a framework for inter-agency coordination, coherent implementation of rules. To me, it seems that uh, the very uh, a, a very a basis of what the SEBI does as far as regulating markets, uh, this probe committee is commenting about that and making some specific remarks in some ways, Mahesh Agarwal. No, I do not think that is entirely correct. They have given suggestions. There is possibility that most of the suggestions have already been implemented. There are regulations for that. Committee has given a finding that these things should be in place. Without, It is not that they are not in place. So, there is no regulatory uh, default by SEBI or there is no nothing lacking at SEBI's end but they have made suggestions and I am sure the suggestions will be looked at by the ministry and by SEBI. Okay. Let me come back to the first point that you made uh, which was in, uh, a point that you spoke about. SEBI uh, 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 has found out some entities have taken short positions prior to the Hindenburg report and profited after the price crashed upon the publication of the report. Uh, Mahesh Agarwal, the markets function in a certain way. Uh, uh, it is said that the stock markets look at events that will happen in the future rather than back and that influences price uh, movements. Uh, what is the point here? Uh, uh, is there, is, does this point towards some criminal activity or is it part of normal market activity? So therefore, playing with public sentiment and anything which causes an unnatural increase or decrease in the market is definitely a criminal activity. Now, it is for SEBI and the report, the committee to investigate who are the actual short sellers. As and when they are identified, I am sure action will be taken. What is important is that it is important for the public to know that in the future, such reports are published by people who declare that they want to make profit by short selling. They have to be looked at with some circumspection. People should not panic or uh, suffer a loss only on these reports which are wild allegations without any substance. Somebody sitting 10,000 kilometers away publishes a report and the entire, in, entire Indian market goes topsy-turvy. Now this report, after Prima FSI finding has said that nothing of that report is correct. So if that is so, this gives a lot of confidence to the Indian public and gives a guidance in the future that one has to be very careful before acting upon some report published which is unauthenticated. Mahesh, if nothing of the report, uh, Hindenburg report is correct according to this probe panel and as per your own reading of uh, that report, then what will be the burden of, this, uh, of, of the stock market regulators remaining inquiry? They have already spent some time on it and now they have got some more time. What will they be now focusing on? No, SEBI is presently focusing on individual transactions, specific instances to rule out any wrongdoing. So if anything is found, they will definitely give a report to the court. And so therefore, we cannot hazard a guess as to what SEBI will find because that investigation is ongoing. Okay. Uh, In fact, the request was made that uh, the preliminary findings or the status of SEBI report should be submitted before the court 
and that is presently not been allowed because okay. investigation is something serious issue which has to be done with lot of confidence and uh, uh, sebi is doing that okay from a, a purely legal procedural point what happens from uh, here on mahesh agarwal you have kept repeating the word prima facie uh, about this report explain what do you mean by that is it does this does this committee uh, continue to do its work will it uh, reopen things later on w- what do you really imply so committee is continuing it is continuing to look at the regulatory framework continuing to see what further changes have to be brought about they mm-hmm. will also look into any further instances which have been found so far they have found nothing wrong in the event sebi looks at some issues which uh, may be doubtful or any report is given then the action will be taken okay uh, one small point before uh, we wrap up this conversation uh, you know there were other smaller points for example uh, which of course uh, the company has responded to in the past and perhaps will also respond again which is like you know the auditor uh, is not amongst the big four and there were questions that were raised there were changes uh, that uh, came about is there any other recommendation made by this panel report to any other watchdog agency for example the uh, audit and accounting regulator that has been made in this report which those agencies or any department of the government of india will have to act upon so there is a full section of recommendations but ultimately they are recommendations so each of the concerned departments will have to look at the recommendation and see if any further improvement is required in the regulatory framework or not a, a report or a recommendation by such a high power committee will have to be given serious consideration by each of the regulatory authorities and necessary until and unless they find that the mechanism is perfect and nothing more is required it's a different matter but otherwise i'm sure each of the agencies will look into it and do corrective measures okay one very co- very important that in the future these kind of events are avoided that somebody sitting outside uh, causes loss to indian customer indian okay industry. very final question very final question uh, 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 this this has to do with the fact that despite significant efforts sebi has not been able to uh, sort of really crack open in some ways the ownership of 13 foreign entities uh, that were alleged to be involved in adani from a investor point of view uh the panel seems to have said that this is outside the purview of the law of india and the question therefore that arises is uh, do you think that sebi in the next 3 months will be able to crack this open yeah i'm sure they will crack it open because sebi has mentioned in the supreme court that they are looking at these uh, suspicious entities or suspicious transactions investigation is going on i am pretty sure they will be with the long arms that sebi has and it's a very important watchdog they will be able to collect all necessary information and data and submit a final report so these issues will have to be addressed and sebi will have to submit a report to the honorable supreme court all right mahesh agarwal thank you very much for your time uh, for joining us on this very significant development and the findings of the supreme court appointed panel on the adani hindenburg allegations Uh, once again thank you very much uh, for your thank time you. with that it's a wrap on this discussion we'll be back with more do stay tuned in goodbye if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe